Hello, welcome Solex Nation. You know, we want to start off today just by talking about something that maybe you aren't aware of, or if you've been here a while, maybe something that you forgot, and that is our how-to videos. Yeah, and those videos are, they're in the scanner. They are in the scanner. But we also have them on YouTube. Yes. And we have them on the blog. Right. As well. Those, how, what are they? They're, they're the how-tos of how to use the scanner. Right. right, and so it's the four main sections of the scanner. It's inner voice, vitals, comprehensive, and Cephi. Now, if you go to your scanner and you click on, let's say, vitals, and then look at, at the top upper right-hand corner, yeah. you will see a question mark. Click on that question mark. Not only will there be written information about what that scan entails, but at the bottom, you will see the how-to videos. These are so valuable, not only for you, but also for new prospects that you have. And especially if you're sending those Alpha 3 passes out to people, you yes. want to make sure they're watching those how-to videos so they know what they're doing. Yeah, that question mark is the help section, it right? It is. Within the scanner. Well, when you're... Uh, Whenever you're needing to help somebody, uh, you could also go to YouTube and you can find that those same videos, they're there, yes. and you can just share that. Share that directly with somebody. Share the link with somebody and they can go through. So if they're struggling, they're like, okay, I don't know if I'm doing inner voice right. You can grab that video, send it to them, they can watch it and, and walk them through it. Now we have a lot of information on YouTube and we know that it can be hard to navigate. Sometimes it's hard to navigate for us. Yeah, We yeah. say, I know that video is there, where is it? We're working on that, we want you to know, but just a few helps to help you navigate in YouTube a little bit better. First of all, if you are not subscribed to the Solex LLC yeah. YouTube page, go and subscribe. You'll be made aware of when videos are uploaded um, which are, it's very helpful. Yep. And also when our weekly update, it lets you know when our weekly update's about to premiere. So that is also helpful. But if you go to the main page of our Solex LLC YouTube, you will see the, the, the category playlists. Yeah. Click on playlists and there you will see some of the videos broken down into different sections that will be more helpful for you to go through and find the one you're looking for. Yeah, so if you're you're wanting to know more about a particular category of information. Like if you need help with your phone, there's a phone yep. tech help. Yes, yeah. And we also even have videos on other products, obviously, we do. within Solex, yes. uh, whether it's Think and Pro or whether it's Prime, you know, those videos are still available there. Now, if YouTube is not your thing and you're like, okay, Shelby, you just said all that, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, the other option is you can go to the blog. You can yeah. go to solexglobal.com and we're building that all the time by category, by specific information where we add those videos on YouTube kind of in your face with even some written instruction as well. That's right. I want to jump back to YouTube really fast though. One more thing, well, two more things I want to say. Uh, the first is there is a playlist called shareables. Ooh. And in that playlist, there are a lot of videos that all you do is click on that video and click on copy, copy the link, and you can share those videos with new prospects. So that's a valuable, a valuable uh, part of our YouTube channel. The other thing I want to say is we know that we have so many weekly updates. We have years worth of, of weekly updates. And one of the comments that we have gotten a lot is, great, I don't know how to weed through all of those weekly updates to find what I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, there are two things we wanna tell you. First of all, underneath the thumbnail, you will see a title which en encompasses what is uh, talked about on that weekly update. If you click on the content for that, the, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a little down arrow, click on that, and then mm -hmm. you'll have timestamps of the entire call, and it will tell you exactly what is happening at, on each timestamp. You can just click to where you wanna go. Yep. Now, the second thing I wanna tell you is right now, we are working on updating those thumbnails. Rather than it just saying weekly update with the date, it will now say, the title, what is encompassed in that call. It's not as clean looking, um, but it's going to be a lot easier for you to weed through those weekly updates and be able to find what you're looking for. So that's just something that's coming. Yeah, now, it's a double-edged sword, right? When we put out is. as much uh, weekly, regular information, it's great because obviously we put out a lot of information. Uh, the backside of that is, boy, there's an awful lot of information yeah. to weed through. Now we've had people, and I remember not too long ago where somebody had joined and they spent several weeks going through every video. A lot of people which have Which I was like cheering them yeah. on. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a great, uh, it's a heap of information mm -hmm. to go through. But I'm sure that they obviously got their bearings and they understood where information was. So when they were ready to go back, 
they knew that it was there and yeah. kind of an idea of how to find it. Yes. So something else that we would like to announce, and this is exciting. I know long. This is long awaited for long of you, for a lot of you. We have updated our basic training. Yeah. And that new basic training will be done by the end of this week. So look for that basic training. It has been on, on our plate for a long time. We've said we yeah. need to update yep. basic training. Well, guess what? It is done and it should be uploaded uh, by the end of this week. So be excited to look for that. Yep. We love that. We, good updates. If, you, if you're a longtime veteran here, worth going back and getting familiar so that you can better help anybody else you share the technology with. If you're brand right. new and you just went through basic training, it's probably worth jumping back in. If you saw Lauren's call last week, yes, in fact, quick scan, that easy was, scan. there was a lot of comments from, from that call last week where people were like, oh, this would be great for somebody new here. What you didn't know is we filmed that for basic training yep. and we wanted to see what you think, Perfect. what you thought. And so we put that on our call last week and we got even a lot of veterans saying, I didn't know that about quick scan or yep. gosh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I've never used that before. Or, you know, I didn't know what therapies were. It, so Remember, it's just a good reminder for you, a good touch up to go and, and watch basic training, even if you've been here a while. Yeah. All right. It is May. Yes, it is May. So we have so we have a May incentive that we don't want you to forget about. Everybody this wins, weeks. right? Everyone everybody wins. wins. Uh, and, and this is everybody wins gold. Uh, the new enrollee uh, and the enroller. That's Everybody's right. going to get gold with a qualifying order. Qualifying order is a subtotal that reaches $200 or more. Mm -hmm. You get this $50 value in product sent to you. If you're not familiar with gold, it is worth going and finding out what fulvic acid is. That is the core ingredient of gold. It is a wonderful product that not only benefits the gut, the digestive tract, but also has many benefits for the brain and powerful uh, solutions to challenges that we face over time within yeah. the brain environment. Um, I take gold every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's it just something that I, I don't want to miss out on. But I think it's worth uh, everybody at least trying. Um, now, caution, fulvic acid is not uh, sweet to the taste. If you've tried it, if you've taken it directly, um, Doesn't good taste on you. <laughs> I do have to say, though, there was somebody that, that wrote in and said, I don't think I got the right stuff because it doesn't it doesn't taste like anything. Um, well, we verified that it was the right stuff, yeah. and she just has in t incredible taste, but didn't notice that it tasted the way it does. It it's doesn't a, taste great. I no, think. it's got a very even like um, for me a metallic taste. Yeah. If I take it directly, yeah. I always mix it in with a flavored drink. I yes. just every time I do it because then I can can down it and get all the benefits and I'm on my way. But everyone's taste buds are different. You yep. may think that the, it doesn't taste bad at all. Um, you know, we are actually testing something for our Dave Discovery right now. We always test everything on our employees. It's great to work here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there, it's amazing to me the difference in taste buds that we have just with yes. our employees yeah. and the different... Some some people are really bothered by a taste and some think it tastes great. So yeah. anyway, good luck with the gold, with the tasting. But as far as the benefits, it far outweighs the bad taste. Now, if you're signing up, uh, if you're enrolling somebody new with that qualifying $200 order mm -hmm. or more, uh, that gold will go out with their enrollment. Yes, they the new person will get the gold with the enrollment order. You as the enroller will receive that gold at the end of the month. And the reason we do that is because there are several people who enroll multiple people over the month. Yep. And so we just want to do one bulk order. I'm Put sure you can together. understand that. Yep. So, all right. Uh, we had a contest last week. Yes, and it was uh, you know it had to do with quick scan and easy scan. It did. It did. Yeah. We wanted to know what did you learn. Or what was something new, maybe, or, or what is something that you were reminded of yes. with quick scan and easy scan? And what were we going to do? We're give giving them? away X. X. Uh, so if you if not familiar with X, X is uh, a very. We're very proud of X. Uh, it was something that we've looked through over and over. It has to do with benefits and helping the balance within the digestive tract. Now, you if you've watched a lot of our videos, you know that we love to talk about. The balancing nature of what happens in the gut also affects the brain and vice versa. With that, X in and of itself, we designed something with the specific effect of not being this really hammer and chisel mm -hmm. effect within the digestive tract because it is a very sensitive environment. And most um, digestive balancing, cleansing efforts really are too harsh for most people. Um, 
And so what we looked at is how do we get this uh, sweep and mop effect rather than a chisel effect within the gut environment? Mm -hmm. And not just to clear things out, but really to feed the right um, microbiome, mm -hmm. uh, gut, bacteria. Um, gut bacteria, so that, that, that they flourish, not yeah. to just wipe them out and clear everything out, but rather to balance things so that you are, have the most effective balance between the gut and the brain, the second yeah. Brain. That's Is right. That's right. And just so you know, we all take our our supplements here. We take we do X. We do all of it. Yeah. We we believe in them that much. So. Yeah, I go through X. Uh, I'll do a regimen of X uh, probably every other month. You don't um, take it every every no, night. No, it's not an every day. No. 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 Okay. The first winner is Leanne Faust. Historically, I would click clearing and then run it for a moment. Honestly, I was only checking the sound and making sure everything was ready to go for easy scan. Somewhere along the way, I realized I felt a physical relief when clearing was running. Now I always do a full clearing to get the full benefit and then I do easy scan. I use quick scan multiple times a day to check my supplements, which has been a game changer for me, improving my health. Lauren's tutorial gave me fresh eyes, though, though for all that, uh, let's see, gave me fresh eyes though for all that quick scan has to offer. Definitely going to take advantage of it more throughout the day. That's you what know, we like to hear. And that supplement library, is we talk Invaluable. about that all the time. Even though, I mean, we have supplements here at, at, at Solex. Yeah. And we just say, you don't take everything every day no matter what. And, and I, even though I just said about how gold, like I mentally, I want it, right? Yeah. Um, but you don't. That supplement library is help, helps you understand your body. Helps mm -hmm. you understand the frequency, the balancing state of your body, and what you're in need of at that particular mm -hmm. time. And it's uh, a money saver. You yes. don't have to take everything every day. In fact, you shouldn't. Yeah, no, because it, and what is it? Why is it a money saver? Well, if you're, most uh, companies, obviously, they're out to make money and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but they're there, hey, take this every day, no matter what, put it on auto ship and get it no matter what. We will say, hey, balance things out. If, if, you, if you don't need it today, don't take it today. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you need it every once in a while. Great, take it every once in a while and, and then reorder it as you need it. That's right. You know, so, all right, uh, Jan uh, Houghton. I hope that's right, Jan. I, uh, a basic that I had forgotten was how important it is to start my inner voice scans with I am and then my name. That's so important. Lauren pointed out uh, what a difference it makes to start with that. I'll get back to doing that. I do that. Uh, and it is very powerful, the I it am is. statement. It is. And you know, something going along with that, that when I was listening to Lauren, and I know this, something that I forgot to do was to think of something that makes me sad, then to think of something that makes me happy, yeah. and then to start my inner voice. And it, you know, it's just t five, 10 seconds of prep, but it makes such a difference yeah. in your results. Balancing those, that uh, emotional range, yeah. right? All right, last one is... Good. Jody Isolini, I do the easy scan at least once a day. Is that too much? Absolutely not. I do that every single day too. I wasn't sure that I would get the same benefit by just doing the quick scan. Now I could just do the quick scan. That will save me time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, remember that when it comes to scanning, there's no hard and fast rule. Just yeah. trust your body. So, tr so if you're doing uh, easy scan every day and you feel okay doing easy scan every day, continue to do it. There's no wor there's no worry there. Um, so just remember yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, really inclined to think. Often we'll talk about an intuition, um, how we feel. Like if you're if if you're going through the day and you're like, boy, I should do an inner voice today. Yeah, I do should it. do an inner voice now. That probably your body has already learned something and it's mm -hmm. trying to, to tease you into getting maybe a balance where it needs a balance. Yeah. You know, so that's a great, great intuition to follow. We call it intuition, but it's more of listening to your body as we, how we say it is listening to what's going on and then responding to that. I personally love to do easy scan every day. And it's the first thing I do when I get into my office. I do, I run an easy scan. I listen to my tones while I'm wearing my glasses. And sometimes people come in my office and they're like, whoa, nice purple lenses. <laughs> they're really dark. Sometimes I'm like, I gotta get through this 15 minutes because I need to change so I can see my computer. Um, I imprint um, all of the, all of the, um, there are, I usually get a homeopath, a bunch of homeopathics that are um, recommended. So I imprint those and I take my supplements and 
I look at my food sensitivities. In fact, today I just looked at my food sensitivities and, and I, I had cucumbers last night and it said no cucumbers today, so I'm not gonna do that today. Yeah. But it did say I need some kale, which is wonderful because I planned a kale salad. You're welcome for tonight, that's wonderful. what you're getting. So anyway, it, I love that it's just working out, but I, I do that every day and I love, to, um, I love to start my day that way. It's a yeah. great way to start out the day. It really is. Okay, top and rollers. Top and rollers for the week of May 8th to 14th. And we have a six-way tie for second, second place. place. Wow, a six-way tie. Okay, you uh, six-way tie people. Here you are. Congratulations. Well done. Great hard work. Diane Appleman. Jennifer Crespo. Deborah Turner. Heather Plude. David Lockwood. And Christina Gatewood. Congratulations, you guys. Well, well done. Great hard work within a week. The first place winner just signed up on April 26th. April 26th. And this person is the first place and will get a select silver coin. And she doesn't even know what that means. Yep. That, that <laughs> means you're part of the legacy group. Yes. And, and you'll always get those benefits, especially when we have a live day of discovery. Yes. We usually do a, you bet you reserve your spot, uh, dinner. Yes. Yeah, special for dinner group. for the legacy group. And that winner is? Mary Roman. Congratulations. Well done. Great hard work. Way to kick off things. Uh, and, and we wish you all the success and hope we can support you along the way. All right. Well, it is time to uh, turn the time over to Lauren for our okay. training this week. We're going to talk a little bit about the comprehensive scan on, uh, in this training here. And this is module three of, of the scanner. Comprehensive is an amazing uh, program with so much information it can give you. And if you do it correctly, the information that it gives you will be absolutely timeless. So let me go through that. So go to your main, your main screen and comprehensive about halfway down and up will come this screen here that you see that you have four options. Before we go through those four options, let's talk a little bit about the little round blue button with the question mark up at the top right corner. If you click that, it's going to give you information that I'm going to tell you now. But where this information is good is when you're sending uh, this out to somebody that's got an Alpha 3 pass or that's going to be doing it without any of this training. This gives them basic information and instructions on how to rerun it. But what's really good is there's a video at the bottom. And this video is only about two, three minutes long, and it just makes it easy. So if you can get people to go and read this, including yourselves, and see that video, it's going to make your presentation of this to either your clients or to someone who is a potential scan uh, purchaser. This is going to be really helpful for them. All right, so now that you've seen that, you can close it out. Now we're back to our four buttons. You have inner voice, vitals, combined, and then custom. So here's a little bit of, um, get rid of some confusion here. If I click inner voice, it's not gonna do an inner voice scan for me. What it's going to do is go back and look at my last inner voice, and from the data from that inner voice, it will then populate the things that it needs to scan in the comprehensive section. Okay, if I hit vitals, it'll do the same thing. It'll go back to my last vitals, find those frequencies that were out of range, and then populate the things that need to be scanned in the comprehensive based on that last scan. So this is really important that you understand how this populates because let's say that you do an easy scan or a quick scan. Vitals comprehensive and quick scan all draw from the same database. That big database, that's where they go for their information. If I do a full inner voice, I'm gonna get a full scan of my voice, which is gonna present more information in this section for in comprehensive to draw from. If I do a quick scan or an easy scan, it's still pulling from that database, but it won't be as thorough as if I did a full inner voice but it's still coming from the same database. So I hope that makes sense. When you have time to do this, it's really best to sit down, take four minutes, two, three minutes, do an inner voice, do a, a vitals, and then come in and do a comprehensive. At least once a week, do that. Do the whole thing. See, get a really good picture of yourself. But again, these things are drawing from the database 
based on your last scan. So when you're coming in to do a comprehensive, it's best to have done an inner voice and a vitals, and then you would come in and hit combined. So now why would you separate those out? Well, let's say that right now, I've got some type of a bug going on in my system. I'm not feeling, I've maybe got a cold or a flu or just not feeling up speed. I just want to do a vitals, find out what's up. Now I can do my vitals, come and hit vitals, and it's only going to look at the comprehensive uh, database based on the vitals. Or maybe I'm having a rough morning or I've had a rough afternoon emotionally, and I just want to see how my emotions are affecting me physically. Those are the times when you just do an inner voice or just a vitals. But most of the time, you're going to want to do both of those right before you go to comprehensive. So do your voice, do your vitals, optimize both, and then come in and hit combined. That way it's going to give everything from those areas, your voice and your vitals, and give you a really good scan uh, for your um, comprehensive. So just so you understand, when you have done the, the vitals and the voice or any combination of those, and it pulls up, you hit combined, there's a lot of empty boxes. There's only certain boxes that have been checked. That's because those were the only things that were um, completely out of range that the uh, database pulled into this scan. But you can go in and check more of those if you'd like. I said, well, you know, it didn't check my... My head, I want to check my arteries up there. You can. It's just that didn't come up in the first two scans. So if you really want just a pure look at how vi uh, inner voice or vitals is affecting you, you would just leave it at that. But you're not locked into that. Feel free to add to that or take away from that as you choose. That is just there to help you draw the information right away. Now, below those three buttons, you have another button called custom scan. Now, this one is really awesome. Let's say that you just uh, you just tripped and you banged your knee or you, you twisted your ankle and you just want to see how much is how much uh, damage has been done. You could open up custom scan and just go down and scroll, okay, left ankle, ligaments, muscles and, and bones of the left leg. You just want to see just that. Um, that's what custom scan is for. And so, or, or you want to scan everything in that, in the, in the comprehensive. The only way you can do that is to go through and hit custom scan and select where everything has been selected. That's going to take the most time. That's going to probably take closer to 15 or 20 minutes to scan. And you don't need to do that very often. So I would hit deselect and then just go in and just hit the things that you want to check in that custom scan. Okay, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense for you. Um, now let's delve into or uh, dive into that scan a little bit more. So let's say in this case, we're going to do a combine. So I've done my inner voice and I've done my vitals and I hit combine. That's going to come through and populate the scan. And as you can see here from the last two scans I did, it's looking for the arteries in the head few of my chromosomes. It's going down looking at my eyes and my ears. Not my ears, but my eyes and my heart. And it's going through and it selected the things that were most out of range in the voice and in the vitals. And then I would hit scan. Now I've already done this scan, so I won't do that. But when the scan is done, I would then go in and hit optimize and then I would select my reports. Now, if you have completed your... Um, phases one, two, and three, and you actually have the database available to you, you can click on database and it will show you in detail how some of those numbers came together in your report. But if you don't, you're just going to click on report. That'll be the only button available to you. When you have your report, you'll have, it'll always default to the, to the graphic image. But if you look at the top of your page, it has a table report and an image report and it defaults to the image. If I click on table, it'll show it to you more like what you're used to seeing in your vitals, okay? The numbers on your right are your, um, the scanned one numbers, and the ones to the left will be your optimized numbers. If I go back to image report, it's the same if you look in the boxes, the, the box on the right of each item 
is your scanned one, the number in the, to the left of it is your optimized number. And so as far as um, the numbering, it's still the same, one to nine, four, five, and six is where you wanna be. And then just look on your report and here's where you can go in and see this. Now here's another feature that's really, really awesome. If you look on here, it says heart interior cut, and there's a little box with a figure in it, okay? Not all of them have those. Let me see if I have some that, see organs, mitochondria, that box doesn't exist. But on any of these that, where the box has that box with the figure, if you click on that, it will then bring up a 3D look at that part. And you can actually rotate it around. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can actually see in three-dimensional space where that particular thing is you're looking. And you can just keep zooming in and see that. This is a really great feature when you're trying to explain to yourself or to others where this is in your body. So the 3D look is just is really amazing. In fact, it really helped me when, I'm, when I was work, working with the scanner and the development of being able to visualize where everything was in my body. And to be able to show that to people, it just, it, the light goes on and also they say, okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's why I have this, this pain here or whatever. Uh, the other thing I wanna point out to you is in your little blue box, there, there will be a percentage from um, ideal. And that number, now the lower that number is, the better. The higher the number means you're that far away from being in an ideal condition. So when you see a high number, that's not great. You wanna see a lower number, okay? So that's what that means. That just means how much improvement there was. There was a 29% a improvement or a 33% improvement or whatever that number is. So these are really good references, but again, you need to email these so that you've got them that you can go back and so you can compare over time. If you are one of those that has the database, the database, uh, there's a whole nother set of training on database. That takes you down that rabbit hole even further at helping you understand how much more uh, information that you can find on why you have a specific imbalance in frequencies. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you're in this as a, as a business and you really like that information, that database is really amazing. So that is your comprehensive scan. Um, use those features, get in and play with it. Take, you know, take a few hours on a weekend someday and just do a deep dive, do a deep uh, scan, do your inner voice, your vitals, your comprehensive, and really start to learn how the scan works, but also learn how your body is functioning. And, and just to see that, it's so fascinating to see. So till next time. Cephi is an acronym for Subtle Energy Frequency Imprinter. This technology presents a personal menu of thousands of frequencies that address various imbalances in the body. Cephi is designed to capture, amplify, and imprint subtle energy frequencies that can be broadcast to an individual or imprinted into an object. There are many categories in this section. Quantum Reach contains specific frequencies for emotions and body functions. Quantum Frequency targets specific frequencies for physical functions. Quantum Affirmations contain affirmative frequencies for balancing emotions. Quantum Flowers are frequencies extracted from a wide selection of flowers to target emotional issues. Quantum Chakras have seven different chakra frequencies to balance energies. Quantum Homeopathics contain frequencies extracted from flowers and other natural elements. Energy Homeoenergetics is a combination of homeopathic and energetic frequencies. There are many wonderful options when using the Cephi feature of AO Scan. In this video, we will show you one example to get you started. At the top of your screen, you will see an Erase button. To erase any energies or frequencies in an object, tap the Erase button. Place the object on the fire and tap Start. Now you are ready to imprint that object with any frequencies you desire. For example, if you would like to imprint abundance into your object, you would first tap Quantum Reach. Then under Select Affirmation, choose Abundance. Place your object on the picture and tap Imprint. 
if you would like to send the frequency to a recipient rather than imprint it into an object. Simply choose two minute broadcast or continuous broadcast after making sure the correct recipient is showing in the Cephe target here. Want more information? Tap this question mark to learn more about Cephe. To return to the main menu, tap the AO Scan logo here. We're going to talk about Cephe. This is the fourth module of the AO Scan system, and Cephe stands for Subtle Energy Frequency Imprinter. Now, before we get too much into this, I'd like to remind you to go back up to the top of your screen. And on my screen, it's a little blue dot with a question mark on it. And if you're on a different theme, it might be a different color, but it's always up in the top right corner and has a little question mark. And when you click on that, it gives you information about this module. And at the bottom, there will be a video. And that video in, in Cephe is so, so valuable. Watch this video, it's short, but it goes through everything that you need to see and understand about the Cephe. It's just an amazing thing. So when you click on Cephe, that module, your, your menu comes up. And like I said, there's your, your information and your video. Watch that video, because that's gonna help you so much to understand this. Okay, so Cephe. Now Cephe is a module that will always be expanding. And so you're gonna see things on this screen. And by the time you watch this video, there may be other things on this screen. Or maybe you started when there weren't as many things. Cephe is always expanding, just like Vitals and Inner Voice and Comprehensive. We're always expanding and enhancing that technology as we can, as technology allows. Cephe is one of those where you'll see changes more often. Now in the video, it talked about most of these on here, so I'm not gonna go through all of those. But if you'll notice at the very top, well, actually I'm gonna be for that, at the very top where it says target, that's really critical in Cephe. Now it's critical on all the others, but when you're doing imprinting and especially broadcasting, the target is critical. Now, if it's just, you're just dealing with yourself, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that your target is the same uh, picture is what's up in the top profile. And if it's not, if it's a pet or if it's a client, you wanna make sure that you've changed that target to the appropriate one. Because in Cephe, everything that happens in Cephe goes to the target, not to the top profile. That's really important to know. Target is critical. So if it's you, just make sure you and the target are the same. Right below that, you have erase and imprint, and the video goes through that and explains that to you. Um, but right below that is custom playlist. Now custom playlist, um, this is where you can go through, through those different uh, sections in Cephe and select different things. Like you might, in this case here, as you see, this is a playlist that we called abundance and it has abundance, abundance, wealth and success, gratitude, successful, success and immune support. All those were put together and made into this playlist. So if I wanna play it again, I don't have to go back and select all of those. I made that playlist. If you'll notice, if I click in that box, here's all the different playlists that I've created on this on uh, in my Cephe. And I can go through and just pick that one and it will load the, the playlist that I, or the uh, frequencies that I wanted to play in that list. Playlist is incredibly, uh, an incredible time saver for you when you're dealing with yourself or with, uh, with a client. Because once that playlist is done, you just literally can play it and not have to go through and put it all together again. Playlist is probably one of the most popular parts of Cephe because people are able to use it so quickly and so often. You can edit it by just hitting the edit button, allow you to go in and erase and delete and then add new ones to it. It's really simple and it's pretty self-explanatory as you go to play with it. To go back out of that, go back into your Cephe. All of these others, the video is already that you've watched has already showed you these. The other one that I wanna show too uh, show you here that you may not have seen or heard before is quantum homeopathics. This one is phenomenal. If you are new to homeopathics or you're a veteran, you're going to love this program. It makes it so simple. 
Homeopathy has been around for 200 years. And there's lots of controversy about it. If you go to the medical establishment, they're going to tell you it's bogus. If you talk to naturopathics, they're going to tell you it's, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Homeopathy, you're going to find your own belief in homeopathy by just working with it. The beauty of, of the homeopathy section in the CEFI is the work that it does for you. For example, let's say that you have a sore throat. Well, you can go over here to this, this blue bar at the top and hit by symptom. And you click in that box, that white box, and here's all these different symptoms. And you can find the symptom that relates to you. And in, in this case, we said sore throat. So let's go down to sore throat. And once we've uh, selected that, we select that. Sore throat goes up in there. It loads the homeopathic frequencies or homeopathic remedies that are recommended for that particular condition. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting. There's four of them. So how do I know which one's the best for me? Because they're all good for sore throat. Well, if you look right below that, there's a little button that says scan. And if I click scan, it will now make, take a quick scan of me and say, okay, out of these four, that is what you see on the screen here. It rearranged those four, the top one being the most beneficial for me at this moment in time. Now for me, I would imprint all of those. But if I just needed to do one or just wanted to do one, I now know which one. That's by symptom. That's it just takes all the guesswork out. It makes it so easy to do. Now, if you're a seasoned homeopathic practitioner, you can just click on homeopathics and click on there. And there's over 600 of the most commonly used homeopathic remedies already there. And all you have to do is click on the one you want, put your, uh, your sugar or sucrose pellets down there on the screen or your ring or your water, your tincture, erase it and then imprint it. That's probably one of my favorite parts of, of CEFI is the ability to make homeopathic frequency remedies right here on the device. So play with CEFI. Get in there. Just take some time. Take some time just like you would with, a you know, if you were going to learn a new hobby. Take the time uh, to learn how to use these different modules and Cephi is amazing that way. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Cephi dots. You click on Cephi dots. Now, we have the little uh, foil silicon dots that you can purchase and you can put them on your, uh, on your body. Well, what makes this nice is you can do a scan on yourself, and I'll just do one for me real quick, and it will come up with right now one of the uh, energetic balance is out of range for me right now according to this. And it will say, okay, this is the Cephi dot that I would use. And it shows me where I would put those dots on my body. Once I found that, I can just then take a Cephi dot, put it down on the screen, erase it, then imprint it, and then put it on my body. Um, and if I say, well, I don't really feel like I've got an energetic imbalance, I can click that and pick one of the other ones. Cephi dots is just another one of those tools in your arsenal of things to work with. Learn it, use it, and share it. Well, Lauren, it's been a, it's, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. I'm a Lauren stand-in today, <laughs> and he even made me switch sides to stand on Lauren's side. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. You are. Yes. Well, uh, you're here to help uh, close the call today. Yeah, we get to, I get to give away something. Yeah, we, we've heard from Lauren, and so we're going to, it's giveaway time. And so what we want you to do this week is if you'll tell us what you learned, tell us what questions maybe you have about what Lauren taught today, about the Cephi program or something else that he taught, give us something or maybe something you were refreshed by, right? Remembered that and hadn't done in a while. And it is, you know, we're in May. We're, we're facing summer season. Yes. A great time for chapstick. <laughs> we love our chapstick. Right. We have three chapstick. I don't even know if you can see these. But we have yeah. cinnamon and natural and peppermint. And these all have a Simon bead in them. Yes. Now, I remember a story that um, at a day of discovery when we introduced this chapstick and somebody used it right before she went to bed. And she was like, I did not sleep all night long. <laughs> she if was... You're, 
<laughs> buzzed. She was Bye. buzzed. So if you're Negative sensitive violence. to Cybin in, in regards to sleeping, maybe don't put it on at, at bedtime. But these are wonderful. We all use them here. We all love them. So make sure you don't put it in this live chat. Make sure you are putting your comment in the main uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but tell us what you learned, and then we'll draw three next week. Three next week. All right, everybody. That's easy. See you later.